Did you know that gratefulness is a weapon? In the battles that present themselves every single day, gratefulness is what disarms the enemy of its power because it serves as a reminder of all God has done and all he will do. In the book of 2 Corinthians, Paul recalls the hardship he's faced in spreading the gospel across Asia, but in the midst of it makes a powerful point that shifts the tone of his letter. In 2 Corinthians 1.10, Paul proclaims this truth, saying he, being God, did rescue us from mortal danger, and he will rescue us again. We have placed our confidence in him, and he will continue to rescue us. To break this down, here's what Paul's saying. God is our rescuer. He is faithful, and he will ensure our victory. Y'all, this stirs my faith that God is our rescuer. He's faithful. I'll never go through a trial that he's not over. I'll never face the fight alone, and I will never be outnumbered. I know that I'm here today because he's done it before, and I'll be victorious tomorrow because he will stay by my side. So right now, as followers of Jesus, let's focus on God's goodness and walk in gratefulness, knowing that if we're still breathing, he's still working. The battle was won by his blood, and we have access to victory and rescue when we walk in relationship with Jesus. And we may be in trial, but our hope is not in trouble. You see, God is on the way, and there is reason always to be grateful. So right now, wherever we are, let's offer up a prayer of gratefulness to God. Lord, thank you for your kindness. Thank you that from the cross to the grave and to the resurrection, you have proven your faithfulness. God, there have been battles that we haven't even seen your hand in, and there are battles that we have. And God, no matter what we faced or what we face, we know that you are a faithful friend. God, inspire and encourage us to walk with grateful hearts today. And by doing so, disarming the enemy of the power of anxiety, fear, or frustration, God, you are with us. And if you are with us, we will fear no one. We love you, Lord. We walk today with grateful hearts. In Jesus' name, amen.